I guess it was so big of a purchase my credit card company texted me to make sure that I was it was legit which yes it was Welcome if you're new or welcome back if you're returning. Thanks for coming back. I wasn't actually planning on filming this today I actually need to run out of the house in like 20 minutes, but my Sephora Beauty Insider Spring sale order just arrived today So I thought before I like unpack everything and end up putting it all away I will just go through it with you while I'm here. And I do have a little cat friend here behind me, so in case you see something dark moving around back there, that's what that is. Um, so just in case you're unaware, uh, number one, Sephora is a giant makeup store. And number two, they have um, two big sales uh, every year, spring and fall. So the spring sale uh, this year, 2019, was May 2nd to 6th. But you can see from this little card that I got in the mail, um, depending on the, the level uh, that you are, depending on whether you have Rouge or VIB or Insider status, you get a different date range and a different percentage off. So I've been a VIB, so that means I have 15% off. And actually, I had my shopping cart just all loaded up, and so the day that my sale started, which was May 2nd, I just like went in and clicked buy, and um, I guess it was so big of a purchase, my credit card company texted me to make sure that I was it was legit, which yes it was. So let me go through this and show you what I got in this big sale, mostly just like restocking some favorite things, but also picked up a couple new things, you know, while I could get them on a discount. So to start with, since I actually already opened this box, um, I just saw this the last time I was in the store a couple weeks ago, um, and it is from the brand Pin Rose, and the scent is called Wild Child. It's a perfume. And I got this because it smells exactly like, and you're going to think I'm crazy, uh, this is an old Avon perfume that I like. It's called 50s Glam. Um, this must have been at least 10 years ago. They had this thing where they had like different decades of perfume. And I love this 50s one. And this is all I have left of it. I've been through several bottles of it. Um, but it mostly is like a rose kind of scent. And um, when we were in the store the other day, I just, you know, walked by the wall of perfumes and picked this up and smelled it because it looked interesting. And I was like, oh my gosh, I found it. The 50s Glam. Um, and it's not actually rose. It's gardenia, jasmine, and plumeria. So I don't know. Maybe that's what was in 50s Glam too. But whatever it is, it's delicious. So I had already taken it off to give myself a little spritz. <laughs> So speaking of scents, this one is a gift, but he already knows he's getting it. Uh, this one's for my husband. It's from um, the brand Atelier Cologne, and it is the Blood Orange scent, um, which is orange sanguine uh, cologne. But basically, it's, they just have like um, single scent kind of thing, like single note sort of scents. Um, and he loves this orange scent. We He's gotten like little sampler bottles of it and I was like, why not just invest in the big bottle? So I'm gonna save it for like an anniversary gift coming up in a month or so, but um, he knows he's getting it. So in case you're watching this video, it's coming at you. So let's move on to a little bit of makeup. First is this Bobbi Brown uh, color corrector, which I've shared in videos before. I actually probably bought it at the, in the last um, sale because I, I got a uh, one of the makeovers at Sephora a couple years ago now and they used this on me and it worked great. So um, I've been using it ever since, every day. I also got, and don't get mad at me for this, um, but the Kat Von D um, brow pomade. I know she's like a Nazi or an anti-vaxxer or whatever. This is the only product of hers I have ever tried and the only one I will ever buy. Um, and it's only the second one I've bought, but I love this brow pomade. It, it just goes on really nice. It has like a really nice consistency. It lasts really well. So I'm very sorry. I really am seriously torn about it, <laughs> but um, you know, I figured she's already sold it to the store. I don't know. So sorry, but I really like the Kat Von D brow pomade. However, I also really like the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow was the thin pencil. That's actually what I have on my brows today. Um, so I actually had just bought one because um, my last one literally just came to the end of it and I was on a trip the past week and I was like, I really need a brow pencil. So I had just bought one, but this will be a good backup for that. Um, and then I also got a new um, Anastasia brow brush, which actually goes with pomade, but this is like 
the third one of these I'm on. I don't know. If you use them every day, the I think the bristles kind of die. So, um, you know, I hate replacing things just to replace them. I really <laughs> use stuff until it's unusable, uh, and my brushes are kind of coming up on being unusable. So this is something that surprisingly I had never tried before, um, but it's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. And um, for some reason, when I added it to my cart on the Sephora site, it was like, okay, well now your order is uh, has dangerous items in it and has to be shipped by ground transportation. So I'm not sure why, like this is, this is that item when I had like perfumes and other stuff. Um, I don't know what's in this <laughs> that makes it not uh, able to be shipped by air, I guess. But um, I've actually never tried this. You know, it's a classic eye eyelid primer. I've been using uh, a Tarte eye primer that actually was discontinued um, and I've just been, I'm getting down to the very bottom dregs of it. I had tried a different Tarte primer that I guess they switched to and it's just not the same. So I'm hoping this Urban Decay one maybe is a, a little longer lasting because I think I have like extra sweaty eyelids. I don't know. But um, eyeshadow gets really like creasy on me sometimes so I definitely need an eyelid primer. Another volatile item, according to Sephora's shipping, um, is this Nails Ink Nail Makeup. And I actually am wearing, I guess, like a previous version of this right now. My mom had given me a set um, as a gift once, and I never really used it, and I just kind of like rediscovered it recently, and I love it. It lasts really long. Um, it looks nice. It's like a great color, and I don't like fully understand what it is. It's not... Um, no polish. It's definitely like makeup for your nails. Like it's supposed to like do good things for your your nails and you know, I don't even know. I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, maybe I can like insert here some of the claims that they make about it. But um, anyway, I've been really liking this and, and wearing it for the last couple weeks because like I said, I've been traveling and doing stuff and just because of the way it wears and like it doesn't really show a lot of wear, um, it's been very convenient for me. <laughs> so I'm actually running low on that and I went to look for some more and they don't really make the exact same thing anymore. So this is what they make now. Um, and the color on the website was a little dark looking than this and so I was a little worried um, because I really like this shade but actually when I got it you can see it's like pretty much the same shade as the one that I already have um, so I'm hoping that it's just basically the same thing um, in a different bottle it does say corrects color conceals imperfections heals and strengthens so I don't know I just really like the color and the way that it wears the next item is um, this IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I've actually uh, been using it for um, maybe a couple months now. I really like it. I like the finish. It's a little bit heavier coverage than I usually do, but um, I do kind of like sponge it on and, and lighten it up. But I couldn't get just the cream. It had to come as like part of this kit, this um, like pick your finish and drop it in kit. So I think I'm actually supposed to go like this. Okay, now it's complete. So basically I had chosen my shade that I wanted and it comes with this other stuff. So I don't necessarily need the other stuff. I don't even know what it is. Oh, includes minis of Secret Sauce Moisturizer, Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream, and Confidence in a Cleanser. So mini versions of these things and then the thing I actually wanted. <laughs> and then another kind of skincare thing I've been using um, for, a at least a year or two now, um, is this Clarins um, moisturizer. And I actually got it um, because my mom, my mom used to be on a big kick about using eye cream. And so I always have moisturized around my eyes, like since I was in high school. And lately in the last couple years, she's been on a real big kick about neck cream and moisturize your neck and you don't want your neck to look older than your face and all this. So I went to the Clarins store actually, and they had recommended this product to me. And so I've been using this one. Um, so it does have like SPF and, um, yeah, targets fine lines, antioxidant day cream, but I really just use it like on my neck and chest. Um, I guess it is actually like a facial moisturizer. I feel like it would be a little heavy for me for that. So I do use other moisturizers and stuff, but I've been using this on my neck and chest and it's not cheap. So I didn't even realize Sephora carried Clarins um, in my mall, they're like down the hall from each other. So um, now that I know that, I will take advantage of the Sephora sale to pick that up. And the final item, I've actually talked about this one before as well on this channel. Um, it's from Amore Pacific and it is um, 
treatment enzyme peel cleansing powder so it's a little bit different than the version that I have it looks like they kind of renamed it a little bit and repackaged it um, but basically it's a powder that you um, you pour into your hand and if this uh, container is like the previous version it kind of just dispenses the amount you're supposed to have um, and then you just wet it with water and just kind of rub it all over your face and it's sort of like a, a face mask kind of treatment. I don't want to release any right now, but it does look like there's some kind of weird little spout situation. So it's probably the same kind of thing where it just pours out as much as you're supposed to use. Um, but my other one has lasted a really long time, but it is almost empty. So um, time to replace that. And that again also is not cheap, but I really do like the way that um, it makes my skin feel. I actually had gotten it uh, at the recommendation of one of the women in the skincare department there. And I was like, gosh, I just need a mask that like pulls all the gross stuff out of my pores and she recommended me this which is not a mask that you pull off it's more of like a very very gentle scrub but like i said it is like this enzyme thing i think it it used like papaya um enzymes or something based on a fruit well this just says it's a botanical enzyme so i'm not sure if they possibly changed it from the previous version but whatever it was she told me like use it every day for three days or use it every day for a week and then you know you can use it less and really after those three days or however long she said I really had like a noticeable difference in my skin so now you know I just use it like from time to time maybe for a day or two or three days here and there um, when I notice my skin kind of feeling not so fresh so I hope you enjoyed that little look into my Sephora order. Again, it wasn't like super exciting. It was mostly kind of replenishing stuff I already use and taking advantage of that sale. But um, if you liked anything or had any questions about anything, please do leave me a comment or just give me a thumbs up to show your support of my shopping habits or <laughs> let me know what you bought um, or if you have any questions about anything. And um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.